Shift your focus now to the other special story tonight on This Is Exclusive. Ladies and gentlemen, while the BJP has made this as uh, their major talking point with regards to infiltration taking place uh, in the border areas of uh, Jharkhand, the bigger issue essentially emerging as to how the tribals in Santhal Pargana area are essentially being duped. How exactly is this happening? Tonight on This Is Exclusive, we bring to you the Dan Patra controversy. How exactly are the tribals are essentially being fooled by the infiltrators and this essentially being done through what is known as the Dan Patra. Take a look at this special report. <laughs> चौथी शादी करते हैं और उनकी जमीन हड़प लेते हैं जमीन हड़प लेते हैं इन्फिल्ट्रेशन द बिगेस्ट नेशनल टॉकिंग पॉइंट आफ्टर रिपब्लिक्स लेयर बाय लेयर एक्सपोजे एंड टू ब्रिंग द ग्राउंड रियलिटी टू यू रिपब्लिक स्पेशल इन्वेस्टिगेशन टीम कैमरास टेक यू टू द संथाल परगाना बेल्ट इन झारखंड फ्रॉम स्ट्रेटेजिक लैंड ग्रैब्स टू पोलिटिकल मैनिपुलेशन This is the horrific story, the modus operandi of infiltrators grabbing tribal lands in form of donation deeds. Santhal Tenancy Act, an act that clearly says no outsider can buy tribal lands. The act also mentions that buying tribal lands is an offence and remains illegal. According to this act, if anyone buys tribal land, then it's illegal. and if it's brought through donation deeds then it remains the responsibility of the administration to intervene and free those lands from the infiltrators but in jharkhand under the nose of the administration many tribal lands are now illegally occupied tribal adivasis are innocent people often lacking opportunities and access to education these infiltrators first start trading in tribal villages then they make bonds with local tribals to take them into confidence लेकिन उसी रूप अभी जबरदस्त रहा है अच्छा ये जो कब्जा हुआ है ये कब्जा जो हुआ है टोटो जी ये ये बांग्लादेशी लोग किया है जो इतने समय से यहाँ रह रहा है हाँ बांग्लादेशी चार कट्ठा जमीन अभी तक हम क्या है पक्का घर बनाया है मारपीट भी हम मना करने गए थे हमको मारा है उनका लेकिन हम लोग लड़ाई नहीं किए हम ही बनाए वो लोग बहुत संख्या में थे हमारा बनाया वो लोग बहुत संख्या में थे Most of these lands grabbed from tribals by infiltrators are not on judicial documents. They are, in fact, on non-judicial 10 rupee stamp papers, which do not even have a court stamp. These infiltrators strategically lend money to tribals, exploiting them when they are in need. BJP leader Nishikant Dube also addressed this pressing issue. मैं 2009 में जब पहली बार एमपी बना फर्स्ट टाइम उस समय से लेके आज तक मैंने इस मुद्दे को पार्लियामेंट में कम से कम सौ दफे उठाया हो ये इमोशनल मुद्दा है इमोशनल मुद्दा ये है जो भारत सरकार ने अपने हलफनामा में कहा है उन्नीस सौ में जो कांग्रेस ने जनगणना की पूरे देश भर में सेंसस हुआ उसमें आदिवासी पैंतालीस थे दो में भी कांग्रेस ने ही जनगणना की अब वो अट्ठाईस जो गैर आदिवासी हैं वो जहां थे वही हैं 48 परसेंट थे वो 48 परसेंट ही हैं लेकिन मुसलमान जो 9 परसेंट थे वो अब 24 परसेंट पूरे देश भर में मुस्लिम केवल 4 परसेंट के हिसाब से बड़े हैं यहां 15 परसेंट बड़े हैं वो 11 परसेंट लोग कौन हैं वो 11 परसेंट लोग बांग्लादेशी घुसपैठी हैं द ट्राइबल्स कंटिन्यू टू फेस एक्सप्लाइटेशन The big question that remains: When will the administration come to their rescue? Well, what's the big loophole in this entire issue? It is about the Santhal Tenancy Act. We've put out the story about the donation patra, or the deed patra, that is largely being used by the infiltrators to dupe the tribals. Now, let's take you through the details of the Tenancy Act, which. exactly where the loophole lies here they say that no outsider can buy the tribal lands if you go by the santhal tenancy act let's take you through the other details of what is it that the act 
says about the land in the area. Let's take you through the second point. Buying tribal land is actually illegal. That's what the Santal Tenancy Act says. The third point, the administration to intervene in cases involving deeds. Now, I've told you about what the Tenancy Act looks like right now or what it reads. Let's now tell you what, how things are actually changing here. This, what you see right now, is the donations, the deed scam that we have put together. And if you take a look at some of the deeds, these are some of the deeds that have been signed. Here, you would actually get to know what is happening. The infiltrators are basically grabbing the tribal land by these deed patras that you actually see. Let's take you through what are the problems here. It is basically on the non-judicial stamp papers. There's a clear violation of the Santal Tenancy Act. Then you have... Deeds that are not on the judicial document. So there is nothing legal about these Dan Patra that you actually see. And you've had the tribals coming out and simply saying that some of them have absolutely no idea what are they basically being asked to sign. There are no court stamp on those very deeds. But despite that, what is essentially happening is that the land that actually belongs to the Adivasis are essentially going to the infiltrators. And the infiltrators, unfortunately, are essentially relying on these very documents there. There's no court stamp on the deed. How exactly has this become the big talking point in this election? Let's take you through what Amit Shah had to say. Amit Shah says that infiltrators are a threat to our resources. That's one. Multiple statements that have been made by Amit Shah during this entire campaigning period. And what is it that the government is essentially promising to? Let's take you through the other details emerging from what the campaigning essentially looks like in BJP, from the BJP point of view. Let's take you through the others. While BJP says they are going to remove all infiltrators from Jharkhand. Now that's the clarion call that has been made in, through the campaigning. They're essentially saying that if you take a look at the census data, there is a steep fall of roughly about 30 to 40 percent. And that is as per the 2011 census data. And they're also talking about the fact that this is essentially happening because of the porous borders and the fact that there is a mechanism that is actually in place making it even difficult for the authorities to carry out a proper crackdown. Now, this has now become the biggest talking point of this election, where infiltration remains a key concern. Soren essentially allowed infiltrators in Jharkhand is what the BJP has to say. That's another point that they've made, the, that a law essentially will be brought in to protect the tribal land. Now, that's the key takeaway here, where they're essentially indicating that this can be taken care of if there is a proper system that is brought into place. Congress JMM welcoming infiltrators for votes. That's the allegation that has been leveled by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Remember, as far as promises that have been made, you have on the one side the BJP essentially saying that they're going to bring in a law. On the other hand, as far as the Congress Party goes, the Congress Party today says that they are going to provide subsidies even to those who are guspetias, which is essentially the infiltrators. The gas cylinders would also be provided to them. So much so, the senior leadership has endorsed the view of the Congress leaders. That's all that we could pack in this edition of uh, This is Exclusive tonight at 8 p.m. Arnab Goswami raising questions about the Muslim bodies coming out in the open, packing the Mahavikasakari.